my dogs and cats living together at the Terrier. Hey guys, and welcome back to The Lucid Nightmare. I'm your host as always, Jay Schatzer. And today, well, we've got a groovy, groovy spy flick. It is Daniel Mann's 1966 classic. It is Our Man Flint. And guys, if you haven't seen this one, you're in for a fun ride. Let's not waste any more time. Here is Our Man Flint. Our Man Flint is a supercharged 60s secret agent flick with outstanding style and uncontrollable camp quality. Drenched in psychedelic atmosphere and filled to the brim with outrageous eye candy, this is one espionage-tinged adventure flick that truly puts fun above all else. Over the top and immensely satisfying, Our Man Flint is a wild ride that never passes up a chance to thrill the audience with its audacious wit and feverish charm. Our Man Flint follows the espionage-filled antics of secret agent Derek Flint, a renaissance man that emits so much self-esteem that if somehow harnessed, his mojo could power the entire United States for a couple of years. In his knowledgeable wisdom, Flint is asked to foil the diabolical plan of a couple of rogue scientists who are controlling the world's weather in order to bring about peace and their own personal views of how the world should be run. Flint sympathizes with their plight, but once the eco-terrorists kidnap his five best girls and brainwash them into joining their little cult, all bets are off. Those pencil neck pushers are going down. James Coburn is absolutely electrifying in this film as Agent Derek Flint, bringing as much charisma as he does deadly force when taking down the bad guys. His performance isn't done through brooding seriousness, but through light and campy filled banter that treads the fine line of comedy and satire. It's all played out in great fun, and why shouldn't it be? This is the age of Bond and the Eurospy, so why not get down and dirty and have a little fun? The character of Derek Flint is a cultured and knowledgeable gentleman spy that just so happens to love the ladies. Much like his counterpart James Bond, Flint has both the smarts and the sex appeal, yet it seems that both are cranked up to maximum levels in the Flint universe. The guy knows everything. The simple fact that he never misses a step and is always right could come off as annoying, but in true Flint fashion it just adds to the charm of Derek's world. The balance of comedy and action is also pitch perfect, and I don't think anyone could pull it off other than the smooth James Coburn. The style of course goes hand in hand with the wild nature of the film, setting up some rather interesting attire and extravagant 60s garb. For as lavish and whimsical as the production is, the film feels rather focused, never getting lost in the ridiculous style on display. From diabolically swinging evil lairs to vibrant bikini-clad beauties, the film has it all, and director Daniel Mann misses no opportunity in drowning his audience in all of this cinematically retro splendor. The lavish aspects of the movie are awe-inspiring, and if that sounds like your bag, then Our Man Flint is your retro-blasted paradise. In a nutshell, the film is entertainment in its highest form of 60s style, serving us with a side order of laughs while we're shown just how cool the era of cinematic international spying really was. Our Man Flint is every bit as fun as you would expect, giving us a diabolical plot that is both silly yet infused with energy at every turn. Action-packed and extremely enjoyable, Coburn is outstanding in the central role, and his portrayal of Derek Flint, literally the most interesting man in the world, is without a doubt a showstopper. In the end, our Man Flint is a groove-tastic masterclass of 60s spy cinema. And guys, that's the totally groovy Our Man Flint. It was just one of James Coburn's absolute best and just a highly entertaining film. But guys, that's it for me today. Hope you enjoyed that one and I hope you like what I'm doing here. If you do, please like and subscribe. And if you have time, leave a comment below because I'd love to hear from you. But until then, I will see you at the next movie review. Take care.